Hey guys, here I'm going to show you how we have improved the, uh, the availability to export the data from the XPS. Uh, you could go to Team Statistics, and here we have something called Advanced. So if you click on that, and here you can pretty much export all the data that you have. So let me explain this a little bit. Up here, you will select the groups for the group activities, and that's just selecting different drills or all drills. And you just check the group to do that. Down here we have the individual uh, actions and here you can select your groups. Uh, you can select all groups of course and you can also check athletes and you can use these two buttons to remove all or add all. Once you've done this, you will go to individual activities here. I'm going to select a test, choose a test here uh, and I'm going to add uh, categories that I'm going to look for here. Select OK. But this is a test with only one attribute, so I want to show you a little bit how it looks like if you have more than one attribute, for example. So I click here again, and I'm going to choose Exercise, and I'm going to select Bench Press, select OK. And then I'll get the attribute there in that exercise. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to use Intensity or Rest, so I'll just take that away here. Then I go down here, and here I'm going to select the period I'm looking for, so I can select a month, uh, a a month, a year, or whatever you want to do here. Once I've done that, I just click on Execute Query. And now I have in everything I need in here. I have some information from Form Testing Workouts. Now I can just click this button here and select Copy to Clipboard. And then if I go to my Excel, I have all the information in here. And here we can work on further with the information that you have. Uh, so let me just close this one. Uh, but what you can do next is, you can click this button again here, and you can select Save Results As, and this is a Readiness Export, for example, uh, and you can decide if this groups an athlete, and you click on this but button, then you select OK, and if I close this one here, all I have to do now, let's say I want to make a new query here, I can just click on this, Double click it, and then I'll get everything in here that I had before. I only have to change the time frame here, and then I click on Execute Query, query again, and then I'll get everything up like before. So I encourage you to try this out.